and what they've done with previews is they've improved the number of options you have in previews. So here's the preview panel over here, and if you if you don't see it, you just go window preview, and where is that right there? Right there, window preview. So just see preview panel. Notice it seems kind of relatively small, right? But you can drag it down here and expand a view to there. And these are the new features now in preview, and these features have uh, you know, are connected to keyboard shortcuts. If you click this drop-down arrow, you now see that there are six keyboard so uh, shortcuts associated with previewing. We've always had the space bar, but now the shift space bar. We've always had number pad zero and number pad period, but now we've got other options as well. And each one has a different set of uh, options or features associated with it. So the space bar will play the video, that's the little eyeball there, and will play audio and won't play things like, uh, like masks, or at least it won't show the outlines of masks. And then the range is set here, and this is a relative, this is a new thing, um, the way that they describe the work area extended by the current time, and then play around the current time is the latest thing. You can pick a time and say play before that time and after that time within a range and kind of loop around there, and that's one of the options that shows up in one of these keyboard shortcuts. And uh, let me see, you can also say move the time to the preview time, which is a new thing. It used to be that you would you would, you would do a RAM preview, it's no longer called a RAM preview by the way, so drop RAM preview from your vernacular. You would do a RAM preview and then you'd stop it and it would immediately jump, jump back and start playing it. Well, that doesn't happen anymore, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll preview this and the audio is going to sound kind of bad, so I'm going to turn off the audio here during this particular preview by just clicking on that. And we'll do a preview now, just press the, press the space bar. Notice that it's getting ahead of this thing, it's actually previewing as you know faster than it would if this than, than a non-linear editor. It'll stop it now, and it moves the current time indicator to wherever you ended the preview. That's a new feature. It may seem like a small thing, but that is so much more logical now than the previous version. So I'll turn the audio back on now, and now that it's properly previewed, it will now play smoothly. Are you be excited about painting? Excited about your audio? The audio is very echoey there. That's because the audio is on the, coming onto the camera. We had a separate microphone on Brooks with a little lapel mic under his collar, so the audio quality for the finished product of this thing is much better. But that's the camera microphone making that sound there. And so there's various various options that you can choose here depending on which keyboard shortcut you want to do, and these are all customizable. And if you make changes and you decide that you don't like the changes, you can always default back to the original like that by clicking on that to return to the so-called classic defaults. All right, so preview has been changed pretty dramatically.